Okay, we're rolling. This is Nazi torture site number two. This, as it's known, is the fun house. And don't ask me how I know that, but I do. Okay, we'll get a little tour here. all this doorway this entire external wall all of this of course left intentionally we have iron posts in the door frame so again this place isn't being put together by by some rancher and his family out here and likewise this isn't anybody's corporate office or, or anything but it is something that requires some explanation. So granted, we got the room here, which is largely full of trash. However, when you look at the structure, you know, solid concrete over a foot thick. This goes back into some kind of inner or uh, additional outer rather chamber out there i've gone back there before and it just kind of wraps around to a dead end wall which is strange however we've got i don't know if you can see i don't i don't know if you can see this or not but we've got metal hooks yeah metal hooks hanging from the ceiling one that was left there this looks like the hole for the other one that had its little companion next to it uh, here is another one and you can see it next to the, the gas line there on the ceiling. You know, you're not tying your horses from metal hooks up in the ceiling, but you might tie up uh, a prisoner. Uh, a captive or a hostage that you were holding. Now, it's back in the corner. Or, yeah, it is actually. One moment. Back in the corner is where we get our first glimpse of the incinerator at the ground level. That's it. And there was more going on over here against the wall. But, you know, now, again, it's all kind of obscured and covered up with trash. But the staircase, it's going to lead us up to the second level. You know, again, in this facility, we see these gas lines everywhere. And here in San Diego County, I just don't know why you would need that much heating. So I really don't think that these gas lines were being used for stoves or uh, any kind of heating or cooling systems. Okay. Up we go. Now we are on the second deck, which is now open air. Got these installed um, railings here. But most notice, noticeably, again, we have this cement structure in front of the incinerator used for what? Who knows? This is, uh, this is open to the basement level. But again, of course, we have the towering incinerator going up actually five levels with only a remnant of the first and the second one still remaining. However, this one is the site that happens to be most intact by far. And 
again, what do we see at this site, at this location here? Another little gas line coming up. Not, I don't think, used for cooking. Some sort of odd cement tub. It's been built into the side of the wall, maybe used for some kind of a chemical, horrible chemical torture or something like that, would be my guess. Not quite sure what this little uh, metal enclosure here in the corner is all about. But definitely highly peculiar. And in the middle here, someone has put a lazy boy, which is nice. If you're looking to relax while you're hanging out at the torture site. And this opening that goes down to, you can really see it on the first level. And of course you can't see it much if any better here, but there is actually an opening that goes through the floor of the first level, which has been covered up under all that trash. That's pretty much it. That's going to conclude the video. These places are real and so is their intent.